All right, so today we're going to be doing something very cool and we have not done this before on the channel and that is building a widget. A widget as you would have in Elementor where you just go and click on it in the editor and it's added to your page. This is super useful because it's time saving and it keeps your page super neat so you don't have to add any html widgets and go through all the hassle that you usually would go so for this we're going to be using a tool i call it a tool but it's actually an all-in-one solution and that is w design kit so this w design kit all-in-one solution has so much to offer and it's not only the widget builders it's also widget converters templates and so much more so let's get into it let's get into a deeper dive of this all-in-one solution all right so let's have a look at a w design kit and let's explore it a little bit more and as i said it's an all-in-one solution but i like to call it a tool because it feels like a tool it's super useful so i might call it like that along the way all right so let's have a look at all the assets and all the resources that comes with it so as i said you get 2000 plus ready-made templates that you can add to any websites these are templates made for elementor and gutenberg and and they are so many uh, available for any niche as well as if you have code you can create your own widgets and keep your workspace super clean super neat and this is what we're going to do in a bit we're going to create one of these widgets so this is amazing as you know do we have a lot of code on this channel that can be converted to a widget right also there's a library of already made widgets that you can download so these are widgets created by creators like me by the team at w design kit so there are a few that i have created that are there in the library you can check them out there's one for the magnetic button for example first that came to mind so you can download it from there and use it on the website and customize it as you wish of course also they offer cloud workspace so you can take your widgets, your sections, your templates to any website you want and it's super accessible. Also, if you don't want to work or you don't want to start a Figma design from scratch, you have access to a library of 50 plus Figma design kit, which is again, amazing, right? To be noted uh, that this plugin is free to use to some extent, okay? So let's go over pricing because i know that a lot of people are interested first of all in the pricing of a tool or plugin or whatever so this is what they are offering first of all i think this is a very fair price it's a lifetime offer and you buy it and you get everything 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 that you would need so this is absolutely amazing all right so let's go to other plans okay so if you don't you're not interested in the lifetime offer then you have here some other plans in the free plan let's just say that you want to try this before you commit to a plan you can see that you can get quite a lot for free like this is such a generous plan to be honest the free plan and as you can see it's free forever so this plugin will never because it's it is a plugin this will never not be free so you will always have a free version of it so yeah it's absolutely amazing so if you want to know more about all these add-ons to the plans you can hover over the eye and a tooltip will be revealed where you have a little bit more information so i will leave a link in the description below so you can have a deeper dive into this but absolutely amazing right it's time to build our widget let's get into it all right so let's look for w design kit and this is how it looks all right i already have it installed and activated and you'll have to do the same thing obviously and then it will be added to your nav here in the back end dashboard so i'm gonna click on it and you will be prompted right away to the templates thumbnails very colorful and uh, we're not going to look at it now, but at this now, but we are going to go right away to widgets. So if you hover over widgets right here, you will see that you have browse widgets and my widgets. So let's go to browse widgets. Let's look for the, the widget that I mentioned earlier, the magnetic button. And 
voila it's here so if i click on this button that shows to download it it will download and it will be added to my widget so if i go now to my widgets i have to refresh and it's here as simple as that right and I'm not going to get into it how you add it on the page. I'm going to show you on the other widget that we're going to look into how it was built. All right. So let's log in because this way we have access to more options. So I'm logging in with Google. All right. So I'm going to go to my widgets and now I can import widgets or create widgets. So let's go to import widgets. If you already have a zip file, let's say I created something and I added it to the OWO website, you can download it from there. Yeah. And add it here in your W design kit locally in your cloud, basically. So that is it. I'm not going to show you how this is done because it's very simple. <laughs> okay. So let's go to see how you can create a widget. So. It's very simple. This is the first step. Okay. You name your widget, you add a, an image, make sure that it's less than two megabytes, add the, the icon for your widget. And this could, can, or should be something that is, that makes sense for the widget that you're creating and uh, choose the builder that it is for. Yeah. And then create widget and your widget is going to be created and you're going to be directed to the screen when you can add it or add your code for this widget. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to go to this widget and I'm going to edit it in a new tab. And this is how it's going to look. So basically you're not going to have all this code here anywhere, but it's going to be completely blank. So you will have to start adding your code. Okay. So now we have a view of the actual widget on the element in the Elementor editor and the backend of our widget in W Design Kit. So it's a little bit, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of information on the screen. It's too much maybe, but let's go a little bit and have a look. So here we have the HTML code. We have the CSS and JavaScript. Let's go to HTML. And this is how it was built. Let me, let me just collapse this. And as you can see, this is the structure. So we have content, we have the fixed text as well, right? And if we go to style, let's go to style here. And we have the text, the image, the fixed text and so forth. So let's, so the advanced is the standard advanced that you get with any element or widget. So let's go to content. Okay. So our content has been created with the repeater controls element. So let's go to repeater. Yeah. And this is how it looks. And if you add this to your page, for example, let's say that I want to add a repeater here. Okay. And if uh, I drag this repeater here, you will see that I have created another repeater element on the widget editor. Yeah. So this repeater will be added to the code. And if I want to add different controls to this repeater, I can add a date and time, for example, drag and drop it in here. I can add a gallery as well if I want and so on. And if I go to the repeater and I open it, you will see that I have added under this repeater, the date and time gallery and the gallery has a loop and a URL as well. It is a lot to explain and it's a lot of information and it might seem overwhelming, but if you are, I wouldn't say necessarily a seasoned developer, but if you know what you're doing in terms of creating widgets and creating code and so on, you will figure this out in no time. But let's just go a little bit over the CSS. So let's say that I have given you this, yes, this zip file, and you have no clue about HTML and you don't want to change anything there, but you want to change how things appear on the front end in terms of style. All right. So you can make changes right here. As you can see, I have uh, this filter, if I turn this on right now, it's commented out. Basically it doesn't appear, but if I comment it off and I save this and I go to 
in my preview this is how the filter is going to affect my images so if i hover over the images uh, you can see that the images have color right so let's go back and comment this out again and this and save and let's have another look and now they are simply colored right and this is the way that you can edit your code here so you don't have to deal with anything on the actual page if it makes sense and let's go to style so these are the changes that you can make in the style you can also uh, adjust the css filter if you want let's go to javascript again if you don't know just javascript don't even touch this code this code don't even bother with this keep in mind like always that if you make changes in the html and change any classes here that relate to the elements uh, in the javascript then you have to change them here otherwise it's not going to work and you're going to wonder what's going on so let's go to settings here and if you go to js you will see that we have our gsap code or the cdns for the gsap code right here and this need to be added otherwise your code is not going to work as it should or actually it's not going to work at all and if you have any css libraries that you want to add here you add your code your link here all right i'm not going to go over this too much because it's so much to explain i don't want to overwhelm you but next time we're going to be building a widget from scratch absolute scratch and it's going to be something very cool maybe it's going to be gsap maybe it's going to be something else we will see but it's going to be step by step and how to build a widget for let's say beginners i want to make this super useful for every beginner that wants to start learning code at the same time build a widget learning by doing this is how i learned everything and this is how i want you guys to learn as well all right so yeah all right so let's have another look at our widget so this is how it works okay so if i scroll super fast we have this velocity happening yeah if i just give a big scroll it just goes to the next section so this is another section on the page i added it so you can get an idea of how this would look if you scroll all right so you could also have something at the top as a hero section obviously and this could be somewhere in the middle on the page and um, yeah would add a, a little bit of interest or a lot of interest uh, to the page this can even be its own hero so this could be a hero for the website that you're building so i think this is pretty cool and i simply love this velocity effect so much so let me know in the comments below what you think and what would you like to know about w design kit and if you are really super interested in building your own widgets like this because you can find code everywhere on the internet and if you just create these widgets for yourself and for your clients for example you don't have to worry that your clients will mess up the code if they go and just make changes there which they shouldn't do but you never know you know with clients so yeah it is a lot of information and i really want to go over all this for you for me for everyone <laughs> to get a bigger grasp or a better grasp on how we can build our own widgets. I will have links to everything in the description below, including this GSAP feature, W Design Kit page, and everything you need in the description below. So one thing I didn't really show you how to do is basically look for the widget that you have created. So let's say it's column, scroll yeah so we have the com column scroll here so i'm going to add this here at the end of the page so from out of the box is going to look like this funny and you need to start adding your images so i'm going to add gallery so let's say this 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 different sizes and doesn't matter 
yeah so i am going to basically repeat this and repeat this okay oops repeat this and repeat this and there you go how easy was that and i didn't do anything i didn't have to do anything let's go have a look so this is the first one yeah and this is the second one so it looks different because I have to edit, uh, edit the container that it is in. So this container is boxed. We don't want a box container. We want a full width container. And now it's going to look better. So let's have a look. First one and second one. as easy as that so we also have some text here on these images which can be removed in the widget so let's go here and remove text here I remove this text here I remove this text here and let's just go again and there you go and if you want this text to have the same inverted effect let's go to our fixed text and say background invert and now it's inverted as you can see and you can change the text here change text here and that's it of course there are many many changes that you can do and may, many uh, styling options that you can apply but this is in a nutshell all right so if you'd like to see something else built with w design kit let me know in the description below and i will see what i can do so see you next time